Hey, what's up, guys? We are back for the final installment of the series of best characters for each, like, immunity in the game. Um, this is the final video. This is the shock one. Best characters mean to shock. And it's going to have the same rules as the last one, where it's only characters that are, like, immune or resistant. So, no characters that shrug shit off. Like, no ghosts, no Aegon, none of that. Just characters with the base immunity of shock. Okay? Just keep in mind, shock... I was very shocked. Okay, that was a really bad joke. I wasn't even trying to make that. But I was very shocked of how few characters actually had this immunity. I barely even scraped together 10 characters. So there are some bad fucking characters. Like, if you need a shock immune character and you only have, like, the bottom few characters, you might as well just, like, not do it. Because <laughs> these characters are really bad. But if you can't, if, if you got it, you got it. Um, so for just raw shock immunities, starting enough at number 10, we got my... Boy, Terex. So, yeah, that's how you know there's not that many options. If Terex is in the top 10 for shock immunity, he's just, like, the 10th character who's even immune to this. I think there's only 10 in total, really. Other than, like, Ghost and Aegon and Shrug Off characters, but I'm talking just immunity characters. So, Terex. Um, he's shock and bleed immune. Immune to power drain, power steal, power burn, power lock, and energy. Um, effects from metal characters, so if you're not metal, um, you can do all that to him, but if you are, you can't. Um, really? There's not that much to say, just don't use Terex. He's number 10 on this list because he just happens to be shock immune. That's literally all it boils down to. This character's ass. If you should, you should just, if you need a shock immune character, just look around in your roster. You're bound to have anything better. Might as well just take, tank the damage with the stronger character. It might just be a better option, but whatever. Number nine, we got uh, my boy, or is he yet? Electro. Uh, Electro, once again, he's not that good. He's a super old character. He's shock immune. Um, well, actually, he's not shock immune, but he takes no damage from him. So he basically heals. So he's resistant to shock, which is nice. So he can heal the willpower. His damage is decent, but he pretty much has no utility in the game other than that. So, yeah, Electra's number nine. There's really not that much to say about him. Um, number eight. Uh, let's see. Number eight. Actually, I don't have him. I can find him, though. Mole Man. He's shock and... He's shock immune. Okay, that's the only immunity he has. He has decent damage in his, like, crazy damage phase, quote-unquote, for him. He's a little bit annoying to build up, but, you know, he can he can get into his damage phase where every hit is a guaranteed crit and puts a bleed on them. The problem is the crits and bleeds are just really weak. One thing is, though, too, he's number eight in this list, but Mole Man is getting a buff soon, and so is Terex. So let's keep in mind, these two characters, Terex and Mole Man, are getting buffed. So if the buffs are good, they could be way higher in this list, but this is right now, and they're not buffed, so they're not good. He can counter... Um, evade, I think, but not for long, because he just will activate charges. If you want to counter evade, you pretty much just have to take away all your damage, and he barely has enough as is, so honestly, he's just not a good character to bring. Mole Man, kind of ass. Number seven, you're going to be a little bit surprised what I put above Mole Man, but yeah. Number seven, we got my boy Korg. Korg, in my opinion, is actually better than Mole Man, because... I know people don't like to admit this, but, like, if you get, like, your um, crowd excitement up and um, you throw a heavy attack, the armor break he puts is actually pretty decent damage. It's definitely out damages Mole Man, in my opinion. So, for me, I'm going to put Korg above him. Also, there's a few synergies with Korg that, um, I forgot who it was. You should search up uh, Karate Mike's video. He did a really cool video of Korg. I forgot which synergy he had, but Korg with the synergy actually hit, like, a truck. Um, Korg's really good for defense, he's fully shock immune and bleed immune, so he's, you know, he's, he's fine, he, uh, the one thing, also a reason I put him above it too is because, you know, with his rock shields, um, or, yeah, his rock shield, he can tank special threes and take minimal damage, because if he has his rock shield ups, it caps at a certain amount, I don't know what the amount is exactly, um, let's see, um, uh, Okay, so, while Rock Shield is active, powerful enemy attacks cannot deal more than 40% of the opponent's base attack rating in a single hit, which I don't know what that equates to in health, but it's not that much. And then special three attacks cannot deal more than 120% of the opponent's attack instead. 
So it's not like fully god tier counter for special three, but he won't get clapped. So yeah, I mean he's above him. These bottom four characters are just there because they have the immunity, but they're not that good. But they're just there. So yeah, you know, number six is also decent, but number five and up is like when the actual good characters come in. So at number five, we've got Silver Surfer. He's or number six, sorry. Um, he's shock. He's triple immune. Shock, incinerate, cold snap. But he's not really immune. He's resistant, so he heals from them, which is nice. Yeah, um, he has decent damage when you fully get all of his buffs active. Um, he doesn't have that much util other than the. His only util is really these immunities he has. But other than that, he's pretty much nothing else. He has a number one prestige in the game, which is why most people rank him up. But other than that, actually using him, I mean, he's fine. If you need to use him for a shock lane, he, he's fine. His damage isn't the worst, but it's just not the best either. So yeah, he's number six. So the bottom five, eh, usable if you have to. But top five, pretty decent characters. Which is kind of sad that there's only a few characters that are really good for shock. But number five, we got Thing. Excuse me, sorry. Thing, I really don't like this character, but I can't ignore his usefulness. He's bleed immune. Uh, shock immune, and he's also immune to where where is it? Armor break, armor shatter, nullify, stagger, and fate seal or stagger. Um, that makes him immune to buffet, which is decent, nice. He has decent damage, not the best, not the worst. Um, what makes him really good is that sig two hundred. If you really want to use thing, you should really sig two hundred him. And he basically can. It's pretty hard to die with thing at sig two hundred. But other than that, like other than his like like super survivability, his damage is just decent. And I know people are gonna be like, yeah, what about the thing synergy? The problem is with the thing synergy, to give him the crazy damage, you need four characters on the team to make his synergy good. And I'm sorry, but just in endgame content, you can't be justifying bringing four shitty characters for, to just to buff up one. In Act 7, you need like a, like a variety of da um, different utility and shit, Act 6, stuff like that. So you can't just rely on one character. But thing on his own, he's a decent character. Not the best, not the worst, but he does need to be like super high sig if you want to use him the way he's supposed to be used. Number six, uh, once again, I don't have her. She was, she's in the top like 10 in almost every list I've made, except for like Bleed, I think. Emma Frost, she is fully immune to all five debuffs in the game in her diamond form. Bleed, Poison, Cold Snap, Incinerate, and Frost, and um, Shock. Sorry, this is the Shock video, I forgot. Number four is Emma Frost. So you know the list isn't like that challenging. The, only, the top three characters are really good. But other than that, the shock the shock immunity it doesn't have that many powerhouses. She's fully debuff immune. Um, she works well with Colossus, which people like because Colossus is a good character just to bring. She can fully counter evade in her telepath form. And she has some nice prowess and have some nice specials. So just the ability to be fully debuff immune is just pretty nice. Um, so yeah, she goes in the number four slot. Now the number three, this is where shit gets actually competitive. I was very surprised to see there was only three like really good characters with shock immunity. Number three, we got our boy Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom is crazy good. Um, this is the only list he's on because he has no other immunities other than shock. So um, he's number three on the shock list. He's immune to shock. What else is he immune to? Or uh, where is it? Does it say it? Oh yeah, he's armor immune to armor break, armor shatter, and shock. Um, he has uh, energy hits instead of physical, so he's immune to like Korg's rock stacks, which is nice. Basically, what makes Doom so good is just the ability to just control a fight. When you use Doctor Doom in a fight, you are controlling the fight like single-handedly by yourself. Doom's power control is so strong that like you you just you just don't worry when you're playing Doom. You just you just like ragdolling opponents and they just get fucked. His damage is really high. He can nullify crap in a buffs. He has nullify off every combo with his heavy attack. Because he can, every time, all of his mediums, he puts a shock on them. And if you're next to them, you can hold heavy and it'll turn the shock into a passive stun, which is extremely helpful. So you can, and every time you hit the heavy, it puts a stagger in them. So every combo, you can get at least one stagger. His special one activates his aura and um, it nullifies three buffs, I think. And it power steals. Special two does crazy incinerate damage. His special three, which you want to cycle most of the time, it just gives you a massive fury. Overall, Doom, just super good character. Best Mystic in the game. I think most people can agree. So yeah, he goes in the number three spot. The number two spot, arguably the best Cosmic character in the game. We got our boy Corvus Glaive. Corvus Glaive, he's not immune to shock, but he's um, resistant to it. He's immune, he was resistant to bleed, shock, 
and Cold Snap and Frostbite. So Cor uh, Corvus, he heals from those things instead of dying. Um, what is there to say about Corvus that you don't already know? He has crazy damage, some of the highest damage up in the game. Guaranteed crits, so just good damage. Can fully counter evade and um, auto block with the synergy. Um, cannot die with his awakened ability at all. He just stays at 1% for so long if you have bullshit damage. Um, special 2 is unblockable and hits like a goddamn freight train. If you have a cosmic power boost, he's arguably one of the best characters in the game. <laughs> Um, he's just so good. Like, if you don't know Corvus, you just... It, his parries put armor breaks, so, like, counters um, Killmonger and Emma Frost. Just such, just such a good character. Just so good. Just so fucking good. It's unreal. And you're probably thinking, who's a better shock counter than Corvus? Like, it's not how many count... When you think of shock immunity, you don't think of, like, certain characters. Because shock is such a, like, a niche thing. And you're like, who's better than Corvus? And I'll tell you... Our boy, our newly buffed boy, Magneto. I think Magneto is one of the is the best shot counter in the game. He is fully resistant, or not fully, but he's pretty much almost fully resistant to where is it? Shock and bleed. So he heals from them instead of taking damage. He um, just destroys anyone who's metal. If you're metal, you die. If you're metal, you can't be um, missed or auto blocked. If you're metal, you cannot regenerate. If you're metal. You basically, he'll have your cheeks. If you're not bleed immune, the bleeds will kill you off the special three. If you are bleed immune, the armor breaks will kill you off the special three. Magneto's so good just because he heals from suicides and one special three kills most fights. So you don't have to worry about recoil. So Magneto, he just bullies robots and there's a lot of annoying characters that are robots or hashtag metal. If you're hashtag metal, you cannot regenerate. You have minus 70% ability accuracy. He has a 50% perfect block chance. Can be auto blocked or missed. He ignores class disadvantage. Um, he's just he's just so good. He's just so good. He's just so goddamn good. I cannot stress this enough. He went from one of the worst characters in the game, arguably, to one of the best characters, arguably the best mutant character in the game. So, yeah, Magneto, number one shock immunity character in the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this list. Tell me what you guys think um, in the comment section down below. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. And, yeah, take care. Peace.